Well, maybe most of the time it's definitely what it looks like, but there's that 2% chance or that 0.999% chance where what you have seen actually is not what it looks like. Welcome back Clean Pimpers and if you're here for the first time, thank you for clicking. Come on in, sit down, put your feet up and relax. This channel is all about peaceful living in this chaotic and dramatic world, how I see it and how I'm living it. If you're all about living a peaceful life as well, then this channel is for you. You can join us now by clicking the red subscribe button on your phone and if you're on your laptop, hover over the hearts in the right lower corner and click the subscribe button. This is the limp section of my channel where I talk about topics and issues going on in life and how, you know, we can attack them peacefully. In life, there is always a big battle going on for our attention. And most likely the things we see will usually win that attention. But you know what fascinates me? It's the things we can't see that can actually take us far and take us places. Can you see grit? Can you see perseverance? Can you see patience? Can you see persistence? In a way we can see them, but can we touch them? The things of the mind and spirit we often can't see, but when we nurture these mindful qualities, things will start happening for us. Unfortunately, we live in an age where what we see most likely controls us. We won't and we rarely admit it, but it's the truth. Let's take uh, let's take this to the Garden of Eden. There are always powers at play in different situations of our life and it all depends on whose team you'd rather be on. God told Adam and Eve not to eat from the tree of knowledge because when they eat it, they will die. The fruit was something they could see and knowledge was something they couldn't see. They forgot that they were on the team of the all-knowing. They forgot that they were on the team that had everything at their fingertips, including knowledge, right? But only God knows the end from the beginning. But why did Eve let the things she could see deceive her? Our eyes can deceive us and make us think differently about something. We see fine faces on social media. We see cars. We see brand names on clothing. We see expensive materials. We see money. We see big houses. We see a lot a whole lot so let's take a moment to walk around our house or your apartment or your room with your eyes closed for let's say one minute i'll time you what was your experience imagine if we didn't have eyes i think you agree that we would appreciate our lives without all these distractors i call them distractors yes there are things that make life easier but should we use those things to oppress others? And even if you are without those things, should you loathe those who have it? Personally, I think our eyes is one of the most dangerous enemies we have on our bodies. Once we see something, the most powerful thing in our body, our brain, starts cooking up situations, start cooking up scenarios, and start thinking what could be. We start thinking of a million ways a situation can go. Most of the time, we don't even think of a positive ending of things. We think of the negative. Now, let's take a break, all right? You can pause this video. I want you to think of a time when you saw somebody doing something that upset you, and at the end of the day, it ended up being something else entirely. Remember this phrase? Honey, it's not what it looks like. Well, maybe most of the time, it's definitely what it looks like, but there's that 2% chance or that 0.999% chance where what you have seen actually is not what it looks like, right? Hit me up in the comment section and tell me of a situation where that happened to you. You saw something and it ended up being not what it actually, you know, looked like. We as human beings love to gravitate to the negative things, to the negative side of things. That's why not a lot of people watch some of my videos, you know, because most of what I talk about is not about something you can see. You have to think about it and that takes time. Nobody has that anymore. That time to um, think, to really deeply and deliberately think about life. We don't create time to reflect and digest information we have received positively. You know, we'll rather laugh at the video of people fighting of, or of the couple who have issues in their marriage or of the fat kid that just fell off the steps 
or of political comedy. I'm not saying any of this is wrong. Well, I'm just saying all of this is just wrong. And we do it every day. Ever since Eve ate that fruit, the majority of us don't have time for meaningful things anymore. We don't have time for positive things. We don't have time for things that can elevate us. It takes a mentally strong person to say, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my time on these things that don't matter to my life or to the growth of my mental capacity. We need to sit and deeply think about the type of attention we give to the things we can see and the type of attention we give to the things we can't see. I find it that at the beginning of the day, if you tell yourself that you're not going to allow what you see to dictate how you're going to react, your day will your day will you will look so much better. If I wake up and tell myself all right today whatever i see that doesn't look right or feel right i'm not going to let it affect me in a negative manner or you can tell yourself um as you wake up in the morning that you're going to see the positive in situations in whatever you face um during that period of the day so let's say you woke up now and um you see someone doing something outside let's say they're just minding their business you know taking a walk usually us humans have a knack for um uh, thinking the negative of situations that's just how it is we don't think positive first we think of the negative first okay so let's say you saw some you saw a homeless person on the road oh, and you have let's say you have two dollars right you have two dollar bills in your car 99.9 .9 .9 of the thought that's going to come to your mind is oh if i give him that money now he's going to use it to buy cigarettes or he's going to use it to to get drugs 99.9 .9 of the time that's what's going to happen i found that it's actually okay for your human mind to say what it wants <laughs> so usually what i say is are you done <laughs> Usually I'll tell my human mind, you know, it's like that angel and the devil, you know, sitting on your shoulders. The devil will be like, if I give him that two dollars now, you will go and use it to do X, Y, and Z. I'll tell that devil, uh, uh, the, my hum, I guess the human part, <laughs> the human part of my life. I'll say, okay, are you done? Like, are you done venting? Are you done? Let's say something happened and your mind, your spirit is telling you, oh, you should do this, you should do this. You know, this would be nice, this would be nice. But before that positive comes out, usually the negative will come out. If you do this, this is what's going to happen and this is what's going to happen. Why will you be wasting your money? Why will you want to do that? Why will you want to do that? And then I'll be like, are you, are you done? Are you done pleading your case? Are you done? And then I'll do what my mind tells me to do and I'll do what the spirit tells me to do. So sometimes the negative will come out, but once, and it usually starts with when you see something, you see something. I mean, I've done a video about vision. You can check that out again. I mean, the, our vision, what we see is so important to how we live our lives. All right, you can see something good and your mind can interpret it into a negative thing. I mean, I've done a lot of videos. Check them out, the link section of my channel. Check out those videos. So it's very important that when we wake up in the morning, you already tell yourself what, what you expect of what you see. So yes, you're going to see positive things, you're going to see negative things, but how do you interpret it? So once you've told your mind, I'm going to interpret it a certain way, then it becomes easier when those situations actually now become reality. So when you see, a positive thing you know you have already said yes i'm going to embrace the positive things and it's going to click like yes this is a positive thing embrace it do something good with it and when you see a negative thing oh this is a negative thing let's treat it as such and let's try to bring some positivity to that negative situations that you just encountered i'm going to talk about this um uh let's use babies as an example usually when a baby is running don't run, don't run. You're going to fall, you're going to fall. And then they go boom, and then they somersault and then hit their leg. Their leg is, let's say they hit their leg and you know it hurts. I'm sure people will be like, Lara, you are such a mean mother. You didn't even, you know, you didn't even show reaction. You know why? I have experience. <laughs> So that child just took a tumble, right? The child is looking for all the faces around and that's how he's going to react. If he sees a face that goes, oh my goodness, he is falling and oh my God, 
the child will start crying immediately immediately like clockwork and then that child let's say took a tumble and saw my face first in my mind i'm like and so the child will be like ah let me just pack myself up and keep on walking this little scenario actually you know it says a lot about how we react to situations don't be that kid that's looking at how everybody is reacting before you show your reaction be that kid that reacts accordingly if it really hurts fine then you cry but if it doesn't hurt as much and then you look at it in in my country they call it ariwaja okay it really doesn't hurt but because you saw the way people exclaimed because you saw the way people reacted because the, you saw the way people want you to react then you start reacting you know it's like when you're in high school when you're in school and and you know someone someone stepped on your shoes and the people around you go Ooh. and then you two you're like yes let me show let me show my power like why did you step on my foot why did you step on my foot why did you step on my foot but on a regular day if someone stepped on your toes and nobody was there you will even be the one that will say i'm sorry right don't look at reaction of people okay if you look at reaction of people they will just put you into trouble yes most of them will put you into trouble don't look at reactions of people think deeply in your heart and react accordingly our eyes is one of it's 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 a dangerous i think it's a dangerous um it's a dangerous organ that god has given us but it's also a very 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 important organ and sense sense of vision that god has given us so um for some reason i keep talking about vision i think this is the third time i'm talking about vision so i think there's something import important about what we see how we interpret it how we allow our brain to interpret it and when you have the spirit of god in you you will be able to interpret the things you see kind of according to how god wants you to see it and not in a negative way so i hope this makes sense to you that's what i've been given to talk to you about for the limp section of my channel do check out the other channel um, the other sections of my channel i do have 10 sections and i'm like that's it no more whatever topic i'm going to talk about is going to fall under those 10 topics so do check them out see which one you know makes sense to you and um you know leave a comment limp Rimp, i realize is mostly about mental topics they are about topics you have to think about and occasionally i you know give you something to look at but mostly we all still need to take responsibility and think deeply about what we watch and how we make what we see take part in our lives that's what I want to tell you guys, you know, in this limp episode. Thank you very much for watching. Ask questions if you have any. Don't hesitate to leave a comment as well. You can like this video by giving it a thumbs up so YouTube can, you know, push it to others. Share this video if this made sense to you. Let's continue to love our neighbors as ourselves. And remember to rest in peace. We all need to be living in peace. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. you see me in my next one. you see me in my next one. See me in my next one. You see me in my next one. Bye.